Fire in the Hole. What's up, my name is Mr. V here. Welcome to another video, guys. So in today's video, we are going to talk about ticket symbol QS, Quantum Skip. If you guys have been watching, you've seen this stock go from $131 to now trading um, under $60 in like a week crazy movement and a lot of people are already panicking uh, some people that held the stock when it was up there or some people that bought over a hundred dollars and now sitting there holding these bags and they don't understand what's going on so in today's video we're going to talk about what happened and then i'm going to give you guys uh, my take as to what to do next but before we get started guys if you're new to the channel we'll talk about how to earn money how to save money how to invest and build wealth so if that's something that interests you go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content so quantum skip guys again like i said this stock has gone from 131 dollars down to trading under 60 dollars and again there's been a lot of movement but before we actually dive deep as to what happened i want to give you guys a little bit of background with a, a company like quantum skip so quantum skip is a company that is currently working on a technology called solid state battery that is supposed to come in and make electric vehicles better so the new batteries that they use in electric vehicles today is a, a lithium ion battery quantum scape wants to come in and build a solid state batteries which is good for five main reasons the first one is that it charges faster than the current batteries that we have in the market the second one is that you can store charge the charge density is it's higher than what we have in the current lithium ion battery it's safer than what we have in the current uh, lithium ion battery and and above all it's cheaper than what we currently have in the market today with lithium ion batteries so when these guys came out and put out all these things i mean like to to the ev market that's pretty good that's good news so the stock went public uh through a merger uh with kissington acquisition which is like a spark so the stock went from ten dollars when kissington acquisition actually announced they were going to acquire um quantum scape it went from ten dollars and rode all the way to a hundred and thirty one dollars after the merger which is crazy and again this is what i want you to, to understand here quantum skip is still a concept they don't have a working product out there in the marketplace they haven't tested their battery concept yet in cars um, they have a partnership with Volkswagen until I see one of their batteries actually being tested in an actual Volkswagen this is still a concept it's a good concept but until proven uh, workable or usable uh, you should actually own this company with caution that said i'm bullish on it because i i see the technology i see it that this is a potential but you have to be smart with the way you go about investing in spark like this or in startups like this startups like this have gone through the process of really not going through scrutiny when they do an ipo so they go through sparks so they can actually go into the market and get these crazy valuations that are i mean like just incomprehensible. So if you think about it, at one point, Quantum Scape was more valuable than Ford or of Fiat. I mean, we're talking about established companies and a startup like this that has no product uh, just because of the way the market was reacting to the, the concept of their business. So again, my strategy has always been that when you invest in sparks like this, when you put in money, you make some money, always try as much as possible to take out your initial investment and some profit and then let the, the rest ride. So if you put in $5,000, it goes from five to 10, 15. There's no need for you to hang on to all that money. Again, with sparks like this, cause this is, it can go, like we've seen with quantum scape here, you can go from, from 10 to 130, and back to 50 in less than no time. So when you see that kind of movement, you take out your initial investment and even secure some profit so that you can use that to invest in more stable companies, but allow a little bit in there to keep growing. So that's what I've always done. And that's what I keep telling you guys here. So um, those of you guys that are currently holding the back on Quantum Scape, you have one of two options. It's either you can cut your losses and, and wait to buy back low, or if it's long-term, just let it sit in there and don't even touch you don't look at it because 
each time you look at it, you're gonna get this really bad feeling in your, in your stomach. So don't even look at it, just let it ride forever. So that's the, one of the things I wanted to show you guys. But now let's jump over to what actually happened uh, to quantum scale. Why did the stock actually drop the way it did? So that's what I wanna cover. But uh, I don't wanna just say this based on me. I wanna show you guys what the CEO of uh, quantum scale actually put out there because I mean, it's better when we hear from the CEO as opposed to any of the speculation that we it's out there. So again, here is information from the CEO. So if you see this note to investors regarding our recent registration statement on form S1. So published January, fifth so i want you guys to actually see this so again here is the actual information from the ceo this is what i want you to focus on right here they did not offer any new shares because the market was interpreting uh the fact that they had filed an s1 that they're probably offering new shares and when you offer new shares like that it dilutes the price of the the, the shares and the price drops so they're saying like hey we didn't do that the market was re reacting as if we offered or issued new shares which we didn't do it so he wanted to clarify that so people are aware of so if you own the stock again guys this they did not offer any new shares so the amount of shares that were currently out there are still the same amount of shares the only changes here is that you have over 300 uh, million shares and of which 60 million of those are now being able to trade without any restrictions and again the, the over 300 million shares that we're talking about here are ones that were actually issued to or bought by pipe investors and for those of you that don't quite understand what that is so pipe investors are private investments in a public entity so you have big institution institutional investors that bought shares of quantum scape so now that uh they did this s1 that they file it's not just saying that hey these guys can start reselling again the reselling here is 60 uh millions of these shares can be sold with out any restriction so again that's something that you want to be aware of and then the other balance of it they have to wait until and this is the this is the important date that I, again another thing i want you guys to see here this is the may 24th 2021 that's when the other 300 shares could they, they could start trading those uh without the restriction but there's some other nuances in there that you can actually read so this is the reason why quantum scape has dropped and now so the question is uh, what should you do uh, as an investor? If you didn't have a position in QuantumScape, to me, this is excellent. You can start right here, but we know very well that the, this stock doesn't have any specific catalyst, if you can think about it. The only catalyst that this stock will have again would be that they actually test their, their technology in an actual vehicle because otherwise what's gonna what's gonna push up the, the, the price of the stock I don't really see anything beside them showing that hey we made some progress uh, put out a new uh, test put out some new test data to show people that they actually they're making progress so that would be the catalyst that would push the price of the stock so again if you think about it on this day when this uh, uh, part of the 300 shares can be uh, resell or traded by the institutional investors, I'm a, I mean, the price of the stock is gonna pull back again um, before this happens. So you expect that date, if you if you don't have it yet, put it on your calendar if you own the stock, because this is gonna happen. And for most people, what you do is you sell up there, wait for this news to come out, and then the stock pulls back down, then you buy down and ride it back up. So that's something that you, you want to be aware of. Um, my personal take here is, I get I like quantum scape as a company I like the, the what they're building um, the thing that I want you to be aware of again guys the risk that comes with investing in companies like this is this company has no working product they have a concept that's being tested and until this concept is actually implemented and we can see it in, in in working we should be very very careful with investing in this company but again if you choose to invest in the company Assume the risk that comes with it. And so be very, very respective. Don't make this a, a huge part of your portfolio. And then the last thing I want to mention again for some of you guys out there, don't be a chaser because chasers are people that see a stock gapping and going up and it was like, oh, the fear of missing out gets to them and they want to chase that stock. So you see somebody that bought this stock at like 125 because they saw it just kept going up. They said, oh, if I don't get it now, it's never gonna come back. That's a mistake. So when you see a stock gapping like that, at that point, the stock is overbought. 
you pump the brakes and wait, it would come back to you. And again, I've done videos here, I told you guys, like, I think it was AI that I missed out on. It's like mm, C3 AI, I missed out on it. So I'm not gonna chase this time, I'm gonna wait for it. And so far it's been pulling back and it's still not back to uh, my satisfactory uh, zone where I can buy it. So I'm still waiting for it to come back to me. So stop chasing and wait for the stocks to come back to you. There's always, after mergers like this, you would see the price of a stock would gap like crazy. And then you will see at some point, there's gonna be a correction, it's gonna pull back down and that's where you can get in. So I want you to be, that smart of an investor not just chase stocks because you see it going up again if you see it in that overbought territory it's time for you to wait don't even don't even think about it focus on something else and wait when it comes back down and then you can actually buy put put alert on on your 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 phone or something and say hey you know if this price of this stock ever gets down to say 50 60 dollars let me know so i can jump in and buy some shares so that would be the approach that i want you guys to to really uh take home here so that is my take here um right now uh, the stock is currently trading at about so let's bring this up here i want to um, just make sure you guys say the stock is right now trading at 56 dollars and 55 cents if you can see the stock actually went down to about see look at that to about 47 dollars uh pre-market which is crazy and then since then it squeezed back up to 57 and then pulled back down it's just right now between that uh 50 and 60 dollar range um again at this point to me personally if you are starting out with this it's not a bad place to pick up some positions but don't go all in and i always stretch about this that don't go all in start picking up a position so if you want to buy 100 shares your best bet would be start with 20 and then if it, if it pulls back down you buy some more if it pulls down you buy some more and just keep building that position so that would be my personal take but uh within this range it's kind of right where the stock started to take off so if we go back three months here um this so this is this is november this is pre-merger um and then uh see the stock went up the way to like 40 47 and then so merger took place and the stock just kept going so this the, the after if you look at it very well the sweet spot for this stock would be somewhere around that uh 40 dollar uh, price point i think that's where the stock is probably going to sit for a little bit um you you can call that support before making any moves but again I, remember we talked about this date in may uh may 24th which is when the the company or, or people are going to be allowed or pipe investors are going to be allowed to start selling uh the shares that they own uh during that merger so you should be again aware of that so um i know that a lot of you guys are probably holding quantum scape you bought at a hundred dollars over a hundred dollars some are 80 90 um, again, if you are planning long term, you just put it there. It's going to be red for for a while for you, but don't don't panic. If you're long term, don't panic. Just let that sit there and go. So if you're somebody that is constantly checking on your your position in Quantum Scape, yeah, you're not going to like it. So be be aware of that. Um, I, my, again, for me, uh, my strategy has always been go in, make profit, take out your initial investment if in some profit, and then get out. That's worked for me, and I hope that you guys are pretty much doing the same. And I do that specifically with all these parks. Um, then I can take that money and invest it in more stable uh, companies that I think um, has a product that's out there like Tesla. So that's my strategy. Let me know in the comment section what you guys think about this. Um, did you get caught with your hand um, in the fire uh, with this particular one? If yes, what's your exit strategy or are you holding for the long term? Again, let's get the conversation going in the comment section. If you're new to the channel, guys, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So if that's something that interests you. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. And also, if you are looking to get started with investing, guys, we both are still doing your promotion right now where if you sign up and deposit $100, you get four free stock. That's going to go until the end. I think mid January, January 14 or 15. So they still have that promotion going up. So definitely take advantage of that. Links in the description. And as always, guys, don't be a greedy savage and stay motivated.